There are a number of instant beer freeze viral videos doing the cyberspace rounds. And supposedly, if you leave a bottle of beer in the freezer for a while, then give it a short, sharp shock, hey presto, you get an instant frozen beer. It's a challenge that guys can't resist. So there are a number of different theories as to exactly why this phenomenon happens. One of them is that the beer has to be just on the edge of freezing. And by adding kinetic energy in the form of a shock, it causes bubbles to form rapidly. And that takes out just enough temperature to cause the beer to freeze instantly. It's five o'clock somewhere in the world. Another theory is supercooling. That is when the beer is in its liquid state, but its temperature is below its freezing temperature. Once the beer is agitated, it disturbs the molecules, creating nucleation sites. That allows ice crystals to form. Those ice crystals have more surfaces for more ice crystals to form, creating a cascading effect that will solidly freeze this beer. Five minutes with the beer right at its supposed freezing point. Okay, we're actually at 32 degrees, so this might work. All right, at freezing, right? You ready to smack it? Yeah, let's do it. There's still no sign, which rules out Grant's theory that, on the point of freezing, the formation of bubbles suddenly reduces the temperature and a tipping point is reached. All right, <laughs> this beer has been in the freezer for three hours. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, 31 degrees. Which is promising because this will be the first test with a still liquid beer below its freezing point. All right, hit it. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yep. Whoa! Uh, there it goes. Look at how well that works. Oh. Instant ice crystal. Instant frozen beer. It works. Look at that. Man, you can really freak some friends out with this one. What a great party trick, right? Yeah, totally. Watching the beer go from liquid to solid is really, really beautiful because it's, it, it just grows like those little sand crystals that you used to have when you were a kid, and it just fills the bottle up. It's, it's one of those really cool experiments because anybody can do it. You can do it at home. It doesn't need explosives or professionals around. It's just a beer. Yep, it's simple, satisfying, try-at-home science. And Carrie knows why. So it looks like the winning theory here is super cooling. We have the beer at its liquid form, but the temperature is just below freezing. When you agitate the beer, the water molecules are disturbed. Ice crystals start to form on nucleation sites, which create more ice crystals, which create more ice crystals, cascading, creating a slushy beer.